Kate Cooks. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my meatloaf. My meatloaf recipe is one that I've been tweaking and playing about with for about five years, and it's been the way it is now, I'd say, for at least a year. So I might have actually finished messing about with it now, and I think this is like my recipe as far as I'm concerned perfected. So, let me show you how to make it. To start with, you're going to want a bowl. 750 grams of beef and pork mince. Now, when I get this, it comes already mixed as a mixture of beef and pork. So that's what I've gone with. If you can't get that, just buy pork and beef mince and make it up to 750 grams half and half. The meat from four sausages, which comes to about 200 grams of sausage meat. I've got Lincolnshire sausage meat here. You can use whatever sausages you want, but just bear in mind, whatever sausages you use, it's gonna change the flavor. So if you were to add something like a spicy sausage, it's gonna make the meatloaf spicier. 100 grams of bacon, two eggs, one red pepper, and about four spring onions. So we want to put all this together in our bowl. So in goes the mince, the sausage meat, the two eggs. Then you just want to finely dice your bacon. And then we can add the bacon into the bowl. Finely chop some spring onion. And add that to your bowl. And then we just want to finely dice up one red bell pepper. And add that into your bowl. So next you want to add 35 grams of fajita seasoning, which is about three tablespoons. You then want about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And finally you want one tablespoon of tomato puree and one tablespoon of chipotle paste. So then you just want to mix all this together. You're probably going to have to get your hands messy during this as well. Just get in there and really just get all this together. So then once you've got that all mixed together, it should look something like that. Then you want to get yourself a baking sheet covered in foil. Pour your meat out onto your baking tray. And you just want to whip this into a loaf shape. So you have something that looks something like that. Then you take a piece of foil, just loosely cover that up. And then we're going to refrigerate this, just to allow it to marinate and let the flavours all blend together for about an hour and a half. So once you put your meatloaf in the fridge to marinate, you can make like a glaze sauce type thing that we're going to put on the top of it while it's cooking. Gives it like a really nice sweet taste to it. First thing you want for this, half a cup of ketchup. one tablespoon of chipotle paste and four tablespoons of apricot jam. If you haven't got apricot jam, you could try another jam. I've tried a few different jams and I found that apricot was the one that I think works best. And just give all this a mix together. And then just pop that in the fridge as well. So once you've made your glaze and you've got your meatloaf marinated in the fridge, if you've got any sides that you want to prep to go with this or whatever, you can get on with that now. I'm going to make some wedges with this. You've seen me make wedges before in the Nando's video, so I'm not going to go over it again. But that is what I'm going to do while I'm waiting. So once you've allowed this to marinate for an hour and a half, you want to preheat your oven to gas mark four and put this in initially for an hour. And at the hour mark, we're going to come back and we're going to put some glaze on. And then we're going to put it in for another 50 minutes. So take your foil off the top of that and then just place it in the oven. Okay, so that's had an hour. Probably starting to see why it's best to put the foil on the tray. Just going to remove some of this excess grease off of the tray and then we'll start glazing. So then you just want to take some of your glaze, your sauce, give it a quick mix. And just start spooning that onto here and spreading it around. So I'll give this a really nice coat in and just get it all covered. And then that now wants to go back in the oven on gas mark four still for another 50 minutes. Okay, so that's had it's an additional 50 minutes, so that can come out now. Now I'm just going to take this off the tray, put it on the chopping board and just leave this to rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, so let's give this a cut, have a look at what it looks like inside, then we'll give it a taste.
Okay, so let me just cut a little slice of this off. Then, mm. so much flavour comes through with that. There's so many different flavours coming through with that. You've got the sweetness coming from the glaze, you've got the fairy bit in the background from the fajita seasoning and the chipotle pepper paste that we put in there. You can taste the peppers in there and the spring onion that we chopped up. Honestly, that is such an amazing meatloaf. I've spent a long time making different recipes and then before I've actually ended up coming up with this one. I do have some other recipes for meatloaves. This one is more to me one that goes with like potatoes and salad or some wedges and a bit of coleslaw and stuff like that because it's got quite a sweetness to it and quite a bit of heat. I do sometimes like to make one a bit similar to this but instead of the pepper I put some chopped chilli in and it just gives it a lot more heat to it. Is it a real kick? Other ones that I do is one that you'd have like with a roast dinner really. So instead of like having your chicken or your joint of meat or whatever, you can make a meatloaf and it doesn't have any heat to it. It's just like a meatloaf really. And it goes really well with like vegetables and gravy and stuff like that. We may get to those ones at some point in the future. But for now, I'm going to try another bit of this because it is amazing. Because hey, there's just so much flavour in this, but it all works together. It all works together and just makes such a delicious meat. Mm. Well, I'm going to have to stop there because this is supposed to be for dinner today. And if I carry on, I'm going to end up eating it all. And then the rest of the people in the house aren't going to have anything to eat. So, mm. I'm going to take this. I just baked some wedges and made up a nice coleslaw to go with it. I'm going to serve this up for dinner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.